in this video you will learn how to make a solar data logger and where you can measure the parameters of the solar panel such that current voltage and temperature of the solar panel as well so let's start and make the circuit first of all pick the device from the library first of all pick up the Arduino one double click on it and you can see here it goes here to the devices now pick a current sensor that is ACS Satsubara and these are the uh, three models uh, one is uh, uh, zero 05 it can measure current of up to 5 amperes it can measure the current of up to 20 amperes and it can measure the current of up to 30 amperes so there are slightly changes uh, in the code while uh, uh, write a code for it so uh, this uh, uh, hits its sensitivity will be uh, uh, change from this one and its sensitivity will be different from this one so uh, we will have to consider it in a while writing the code for it so double click on it then pick a resistor so we will need it to, for the uh, uh, voltage divider circuit now pick the uh, cell You can see here the cell double click on it and it you can see here it goes there uh, it can edit uh, you can simply double click on it and it can be added in the devices now pick the uh, some n channel MOSFET I'm picking the IERF 500B you can choose any of the uh, n channel MOSFET uh, and you can use here so I'm picking this uh, it uh, easily available in the market so double click on it you can see the uh, details of it it can measure and you can uh, you know uh, up to 100 ampere it can measure up to 9.2 ampere and it can uh, support the 100 till 100 volt uh, voltage uh, then pick a LM35 temperature sensor you can see here double click on it and you can it can measure minus 55 celsius to 150 celsius now pick lcd there are a lot of lcds but i'm picking the 16 cross 2 lcd display and now pick these components and uh, make a circuit now i'm picking the lcd Here is the LCD and uh, bring it here. You can now power up and uh, connect the pins of these. So let's connect the pins of the LCD to the Arduino. You will have to write the pins numbers in the code while uh, writing a code for it. So I am connecting all these wires one by one with the Arduino. Now power up all the both the devices I mean uh, the Arduino as well as the LCD as well now connect ground to this as well as to this you can bring it down you can bring it up and now hit the uh, the cell so uh, there is no uh, solar panel module in the MOSFET but you can uh, simply in the its library you can also add from the external but uh, solar panel is nothing else it's uh, just a uh, DC voltage so I'm making it uh, uh, with the help of battery I'm uh, making a solar panel so the solar panel that I will use its uh, wattage is 10 watt power and its maximum voltage its maximum current you can see the open circuit voltage is 20.9 it's almost 21 and you can see the short circuit current as well so I will use the method of open circuit voltage and short circuit method short circuit current so now place uh, resistor and res in the series with this in order to rotate it in order to make it uh, uh, like a solar panel because solar panel cells have some kind of uh, 
internal resistance and uh, let to uh, make it to 32 so in order to uh, check the in order to uh, set the voltage and uh, current of it so let's bring the DC ampere meter to check its current and uh, let uh, I am giving it 21 volt because it's uh, 20.9 which is uh, almost equal to 21 and uh, please keep in mind that always ground the wires while using the simulation softwares so you can see here uh, it's uh, giving us an error because we don't have any uh, code in the Arduino so let's me let's uh, put some empty code in the Arduino so it will then it will work let's uh, delete it for the time being and uh, you can see here the current is 0 0.66 6 which is almost to zero equal to 0 0.65 and then check the let uh, redo and do it and uh, then check the voltage of this so here pick the sorry it's pick the DC voltmeter and check it uh, again it's uh, showing the error because of the Arduino because it don't have the you can see here 21 so it's almost equal to the parameter of the solar panels so delete it delete this one as well now okay so um, what I will have to do I will have to come out to some wires from this okay and like this So we'll consider it just a solar panel. Uh, I can, you know, and place some kind of uh, square or rectangular shape in on it, and then write here a solar panel. So it will be our solar panel because I do don't have any kind of solar panel in the library. So this is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. So what you will have to do is just to Uh, just uh, connect these sensors like uh, I'm connecting the current sensor here and uh, what you will have to do is uh, just to connect the positive terminal of the solar panel with the with this one then I'm using the MOSFET which will be used uh, as a switch and uh, then we will trigger it when we need to uh, measure the short circuit current of the solar panel so mirror it in x axis so we can will you have to interface this with the Arduino pin so connect it here then connect it with the solar panel negative terminal so now connect this one with the help of four. so connect it to the Arduino pin digital pin you can connect to any one of the digital but I am connecting to the 7 number so you can see here that uh, let us bring it down and uh, power up the, the connect this V out with the any of the uh, digital pin of the Arduino so where I have connected it to the let I already code written the code so let me check it again a naught so we will have to connect it to the a naught sorry then uh, power of this I mean connect the ground and the other so let's bring it here connect this with the ground pin and then bring it here now I connect this VCC with the power pin you can bring it here as well now the second is to how to measure the voltage of the solar panel 
so you can here uh, place the emitter in the DC emitter in the uh, series so we can check the you can see it's placed already you can place it another way like this connect bring it here and then connect this with this one then connect with this one now delete this one and bring it down like this so we will uh, uh, confirm and we will compare it with the ampere meter as well while, while uh, seeing the old uh, ampere of the uh, solar panel with the help of uh, the sensor so next uh, is how to make the uh, voltage sensor so connect the resistors in a series and uh, make a voltage divider circuit place uh, and make its uh, 4k value then now copy this one and place it here again so bring it down a little bit so we can connect here the pins with this one and make it to one key okay it will be thousand so connect to it here you can connect it to here as well so I'm connecting it to with this and then connect this negative terminal with the another circuit uh, with another resistor and now connect the ground pin as keep in mind that always key connect the ground pin while using the simulation software otherwise it can uh, make a error and it can show some kind of error so this is connected with the this one so connect the a1 pin of this uh, sensor uh, this uh, voltage divider circuit with the uh, Arduino like this now place the temperature sensor LM Panthes LM35 uh, you can mirror it in XSS so in order to connect it to the analog pin of the Arduino you can place it here as well but I'm placing it to here power of this pin power up these uh, pins connect it with the ground and uh, bring it up a little bit connect this one in the uh, this one should be connected with the VCC I mean 5 volt now connect this pin with the analog pin of the Arduino like this so all these pins are connected and now it's time to uh, write a code for it you can see that uh, uh, it's a open circuit voltage we can you know let me show it to you you can see here um, both of these circuits uh, these register are connected with the directly with the uh, solar panel without any load so it's an open circuit voltage and uh, there you can see the current sensor directly connected in a series it's uh, uh, and uh, it's in a short circuit uh, way so uh, we have to you can connect the DC voltmeter here in a parallel in order to check and verify whether the voltage we are measuring is equal to uh, the this ampere meter as well or not this voltmeter or not you can verify for verification purpose and uh, you can eligibility you can for the eligibility you can connect the voltmeter in a parallel with this so in order to measure and compare both of these now it's time to write a code for it uh, I have already if you have seen my video previous video of short circuit current open circuit measurement of solar panel so you may all know these all things so here one thing is added and that is uh, you can see here all the uh, comments are uh, written with that you can see the Arduino the LCD pins here connected one by one in this way this is the sensitivity of the uh, ACS712 current sensor we are using the 5 ampere module so we will have to use 185 while using the 100 uh, while using the 20 ampere module you, we will have to use 100 sensitivity and for 30 ampere we will have to use 66 uh, 66 uh, as a sensitivity all these are this is the you can see here the calibration uh, of the it, it's normal it's uh, 2500 but to uh, depend on the sensors it may vary from uh, uh, 25 25002 you know a little bit can very all the this is the mosfet pin connected with the seven number pin you can see here mosfet is connected with a seven number pin 
and uh, initially it will be turned off it's an LCD order I mean 16 cross 2 LCD we are using here it will measure the voltage like uh, at voltage sensor is connected to the and voltage pin is connected to the A1 art A1 sorry A1 here is the connect here you can see that voltage is device is connected to A1 and uh, what it will do it will measure the uh, it will pick the value from here then it will multiply with the uh, 5 it's a formula of how, how it convert how you can convert it to the volt then divide it on by 1023 because you can see here from range of resolution of the pins and maximum it's up to 5 volt so why this this is why we are multiplying it with this then in order to find the voltage you can see here we are taking voltage from the uh, the resistance that is lower than this one so it will have draw less voltage as compared to this so it will be four times more than this so we will have to multiply it with a five because four plus one is a five so we'll have to multiply it with a five in order to uh, make the complete and uh, in order to with the help of a voltage divider you can find the whole uh, resistance uh, whole voltage while using the symbol uh, this one here i am multiply, multiplying with the five then it will display it uh, on lcd and here we are measuring the current how we will measure uh, just uh, in initially most turn on the mosfet for uh, 100 millisecond then take a value from a naught which is connected to the sensor pins you can see and then convert it to the uh, current so here is the formula uh, 5000 because it uh, will give the values in a millivolt so in order to convert it to volts we will have to multiply it uh, with thousands and these are the uh, resolution 0, uh, 0 to uh, 1023 so total it's it's will be uh, 1024 and uh, then it will sh uh, display it on lcd another here you, i have added the temperature sensor so we will have to initially uh, it will connect it to the uh, a2 you can see here connected to a2 so it will take a value and save it in this one then it will convert it to uh, temperature while using the formula since it's sensor out multiply by 500 divided by 1023 then display it on the CD and wait for two seconds and then it will uh, again take the all the values so let's run the code then I will have to copy uh, the hex file, hex file from here address of the hex file copy it Control C, press Control C here, and then on Edit Properties, right here. It's if there is any uh, address here, so remove that and then paste that address. Now play it. You can see here initially its value is uh, 27. Let's uh, make it uh, make it uh, 35. You can change uh, its value anytime so you can see here it's uh, voltage 20.9 here voltage 20.9 here it's current uh, you can see while connect while you can see here its current is uh, 0.65 where whenever it's uh, trigger the MOSFET you can see here whenever it will be red then here you can see the uh, current of the solar panel so you can see here it's uh, 0.71 so it means that we will have to do a, a little bit calibration uh, whenever i will bring it down that's i'm making it 30 so here you will see the 30 after two you, know, you can see here 30 temperature whenever i will increase it from 30 to 33 you can see here 30, 33 degrees centigrade uh, so it's uh, working uh, exactly same while there is slightly difference between this and uh, this so what i will have to do is just to uh, stop it and let's uh, change the calibration of the sensor like this uh, it's uh, a 2500 so I'm making 2507 so the again it's uh, press again run it and stop it and now play it again it's 0 0.67 and it's a 0 0.65 so do some more changes like I'm making it uh, 2510 run it and when it's uh, compiling done now stop it and play it again it's a uh, 66 
now bring it down again a little bit so i'm making it 12 stop it and play it again you can see here uh, 0.65 so in this way you can change the calibration of this one thing you have to note here i have written the voltage comma one this means that it will after the point it will show only uh, one digit like this you can see 20.9 so i have come i have bound it to, uh, just to write and show the only the uh, one digit after the points after the point so this is why um, i have write and written this one so here you can see the uh, your solar data logo is completely ready and uh, you can temperature you can measure temperature you can measure the voltage you can measure the short circuit current open circuit voltage of the solar panel you can also connect it uh, with some kind of load and also measure it uh, the uh, thing will be same but just you will have to connect the load another thing that you have to keep in mind that uh, the temperature sensor should be connected to the back side of the solar panel so you can connect it to the back side of the solar panel and you can measure the temperature of the solar panel so this was the solar data logger hope you will learn a lot from it and if you can uh, you have any kind of question you can ask in a comment section you can contact me on a facebook page which is uh, link is given in the description and also on the bio data of the and de details of the, solar, the channel as well uh, the circuit uh, diagram and the code uh, this uh, link is uh, also available in the description you can download from here there the circuit diagram the voltage and the solar panel parameters as well so hope you will have learned a lot uh, so let's uh, stop it and uh, we will uh, meet in another video inshallah